In this video, I'm going to give you 10 subtle signs that your Filipina is playing you. No one likes to think that we could be played by a Filipina, and of course, we want to believe that she's honest. But one must know, this is not always the case. Since COVID, many more Filipinas are turning to the internet and foreign guys as a way to make a living. These women will lead you on and make you think that they're in love with you. But if one is observant, you'll be able to see the subtle signs that will give her true intentions away. Now, of course, we must recognise that there are many decent and genuine Filipinas out there to be found. So guys don't need to be overly paranoid, but more so aware and observant when you meet a potential partner. The 10 subtle signs that your Filipina is playing you that I'm about to give you here could save you many frustrations, heartache, and of course money in the long run. So be sure to buckle up and stay with me here. Now the first sign is that she'll take more than five minutes to answer you in chat. You may be sitting there wondering what she's doing and why she's taking so long to answer your rather simple question. Now the truth of the matter is that she may be chatting to several men all at the same time. And I have no problem with this the first time you start chatting, because like you, she may be looking for a legitimate partner. But after that first chat, if she's truly interested in you, she'll ensure that she gives you the time that you deserve without any distractions by chatting to others at the same time. If you notice, as you go into the third and fourth chat sessions that she's still taking some time to reply to your questions, then you can be sure that she's playing you, along with those other guys. So simply, it's time to move on. The second sign is that she'll avoid getting on video calls. Most Filipinas that I know who are genuine in looking for a man online are very keen to see and talk to the man via video chat. Some will say that they're too shy to do video calls, and others will say that their internet connection isn't good enough for such calls. Well, I believe that if a Filipina is genuine, then she'll find a way through any shyness she may have in order to build a relationship with you. I know that my wife when I first met her was rather shy, but still, she was keen to start video calls because she wanted to interact with me and get to know me at a more personal level. As for the Filipinas who'll tell you that her internet connection isn't good, well this can be the case in some areas of the Philippines where simply the signal there is so weak that it'll struggle to do video calls. But equally, many love scammers are aware of this and will use this as a way to avoid being seen on camera because she may even be a he and even possibly not from the Philippines or she could be a Filipina who's married with kids so she doesn't want to risk you finding the truth. The bottom line here is that any Filipina who's serious about commencing a relationship with a foreigner online will know that video calls are an important part of building a relationship. And even if they don't realise this, you should. And as such, my advice here is not to take any risks or make the relationship more difficult than it needs to be. And move on and find a Filipina who has no issues around video chats. The third sign is soon after meeting online, she'll try and take you somewhere like WhatsApp to chat. This is a common ploy by love scammers to move you away from a dating site to another platform where it's not so moderated in order for her to work a magic on you. Now of course, after you get to know her a little bit, it's normal to chat on other platforms. But just be aware in the very early stages, this can be a sign that she may be playing you and use your best judgement. The fourth sign is that she'll tell you that she loves you within the first few weeks and sometimes even within hours. Now hearing this from a pretty young Filipina can be rather flattering and it's sure to give us a huge boost to the ego. But one needs to really think here and realise this is not normal. So many guys stop using logic and common sense when this happens because it makes them feel good. And Filipinas who are looking to play you realise this. Ignoring this or sweeping it to the back of your mind will most likely lead to many problems in the not too distant future. So be aware. 
The fifth sign is that she'll give you heart-wrenching stories within the first couple of months that will make you feel compelled to offer money. Some Filipinas are very good at this and will be able to turn on the waterworks within a second to tug at your heartstrings in order for her to get what she wants from you, and that is for you to offer her money. Now, you may even think that it was all your idea to offer and send her money until you sit back and look at what really happened. And then you'll finally realise that she's played you all along with those sad stories. Of course, after several months, she may share such stories with you as you will with her about your life. But one must know here that such stories in the first few days, weeks, or even couple of months are designed for one purpose only. So if she's giving you those stories early on after meeting her, I say run a mile. The sixth sign is that she may call you by a name that's not yours. For example, your name may be John, and she may call you at some point through the conversation, Bill. Yes, perhaps it's an honest mistake, or she may have many things on her mind, but it could also be because she's chatting to several men and she's now mixing up the names. Now, doing this once, we may say that it's just a slip. But if it happens again, then I say there's a fair chance that this is a subtle sign that she's playing you. The seventh sign is that you may be on a call when all of a sudden, she shuts off the call with no warning and you're left wondering what the hell just happened. Could it be a brownout, which in the Philippines, let's face it, happens in some areas rather often? Or could it be something a little bit more sinister? Again, if it happens once, you may give her the benefit of the doubt. But more than that, you start to question what may be happening here. A good way to discover the truth is by looking at her body language and see how she explains this to you what's happened. Is she struggling for an explanation and does she seem rather flustered in what she's telling you? It can be rather common for a woman who's married and may have kids to shut down the computer very suddenly as the kids may be coming into where she's chatting. It could also be that she's hiding you from her husband or a variety of other reasons where she hasn't been honest with you. So take note here guys, if this happens, then pay very close attention. The eighth sign here is if you notice what she's telling you over the weeks or even months has been changing in details and facts. When you start chatting to or dating a Filipina, pay close attention to what she tells you and see if this changes in any way as time goes by. One must know that it can be very hard to remember all the lies one may tell or all the details of a story that may not be true. Simply, if one is telling the truth, then the story should always be recalled in the same way. The ninth sign is that her body language will not be consistent with what she's saying or will show you that she's not really interested in what you're saying. So again, it's all about your observations of her. Be sure to watch what she's saying and how she's saying it. And is that matching her facial expressions? Is she saying yes to something, but shaking her head without realizing? Is she finding it hard to look at you when telling a story, especially one where you may feel compelled to help her? Is she struggling to tell her story almost like she's making it up as she goes along. If you pay close attention here, you can discover the truth of a Filipina who's playing you rather easily. The tenth sign is that your gut feeling is telling you that something just isn't right. And I can tell you that this one is many that guys fail to listen to. I'm a believer that your gut feeling is your best protection for just about everything in your life. You can be sure that what your conscious brain misses or ignores, your gut feeling never misses. Look at it as a backup system for when your brain or common sense fails you. Your unconscious brain sees and hears everything. And if you don't act on it, then a warning signal gets sent out to what we call our gut feeling. So many guys that I've spoken to have said that they ignored their gut feeling but wish they hadn't. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video.